Well, welcome back. So last time we worked on the potion room. I've added um, another wart around the edges. And I put some more over here. What else did I do? I added um, some smoke coming out of the chimney. Which is actually just cobwebs, but you know that. And then we still got the burning cauldron over here, but I added in some uh, potion stands and then just a few supplies here and there. Like uh, puffer fish, I believe puffer fish will give you, can you do that? Potion of uh, breathing, which will come in handy. Especially with my respiration. I also need some night vision. And I don't know... I think night vision is carrots, or golden carrots maybe? Or spider eyes. I really have no idea. So you're looking at this room over here. And what this is going to be is my enchanting room. Basically a little library. And I wanted to check one thing out. So let's say... Just for... Grins here, I'll see. So that's the enchanting table. So we'll put bookcases all around here. Like that. Wouldn't need one there, wouldn't need one here. However, that does leave... I was thinking that leaves too much room on the side, but that's actually not too bad. I mean, I can shrink it down by two, and then there'll be a narrow, long enchanting area. But I thought maybe I could put you know, more bookcases around the edges, and then some chests. So I think that'll work, because it won't be so cramped that way. I just wanted to make sure I could put the enchanting table in the middle. So I think I count out odd, but I couldn't remember. Um, so I'll put these coal blocks here. And I think I'm going to go around the perimeter with the coal block. Trying to give it a mystical look. Um, you probably won't see these because of the bookcases, but I got plenty of coal. Don't care about that. And then I got some nether brick, and I thought that would go for a different look. Now the outside is going to stay about the same. This is more interior decorating for this, but the different blocks. Exterior is going to stay with the same uh, general village look that I've got going. The uh, cobble and oak. There we go. I know I did different on like the railway station and you can't see it from here but the portal room but those are I didn't want to do that for this. I wanted to keep that the same. So let's see I think actually we can put, let's put the enchanting table here. And I'm probably not going to use it actually that much because um, we have the enchanting table by the spawner. So. there because it doesn't need to be all the way at the end of the room. So this will actually give me plenty of room to put the books around the edge and then I can put some windows and stuff out there. So now we need to get to the walls. Like I said, we're sticking with the same look which is the oak The oak there, oak there. And the door. 
Should I move the door over? I think I should move the door over. Because it looked a little weird with two logs right near each other. So I think I can get one, two, there. One, two. One, two there, one, two there. And we'll go from... Well, I had two for a door. We'll go for one. One door. Instead of double doors. Like that. That allows us to do that. Oops. Some kind of a cobble base. So, let's see, anything like that, that's good. These, um, these are going to need to be up a couple more. Like that. That, that, that. And then let's uh, mock up some bookcases here. I do my bookcases like that. I think I want to put that there. And that there. Plenty of oak. Let's make them all planks. So we got those there. So what I want to do is put a header over this. So what kind of header do I want? Maybe. Well, let's make a crafting table. We're gonna need one of those anyhow. So we'll put one here. Actually. Putting a crafting table on each corner like that. A couple lights there. Lights, 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 like that. Oh, it's getting dark again. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. There's a cap. I want to do that. And then maybe something like that over. No. Something like that over the door. Okay, let me get rid of this night, and then I'll come back and we'll add on the roof. So I figure out for this, I'm going to do an andesite end there. Oops, and then we're going to do stone steps, cobblestone steps actually, through here, and that'll be the start of the roof. See if I can do this. Oh, 
Ah, perfect. So that kind of puts a cap on the, the walls. Let's see if I can do it. Can I get that? Oh, yes, I can. That, and then go back across. Ouch! I need to get down anyhow because I just had a thought. Scary, yes, but where is that? Got the nether brick, which I can make slabs out of which are not I don't think I have enough but I thought maybe I could do that yeah and I definitely don't have enough but I think that is actually a good idea right there I don't think you can see it from the outside, can you? Oh, you could if I didn't do this. <laughs> From my windows. Put big library windows in here. We'll do the same. I need to do the same over there. So I need to go get some more nether rick. Nether rick. Nether rack. And cook it up to make nether brick. And I believe I got some over here in. Because I went to the trip to the nether. So there we go. So we'll just uh, divide that evenly and. Uh, Pop all that stuff out. Get that a cooking. Just get rid of this glass. Uh, I don't need the glowstone anymore. So I think that's looking okay. We'll do the same thing here. There, and I think I just put a block there. Do that for windows. We'll definitely do that. Oops, that's not going to work. Can I do that? No. Well, I'll leave it there for now. Yeah. And then for the rest of the roof, it's just going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to take uh, bricks up on the ends, and then the rest of it is going to be like the wood to get to the middle there'll be a brick strip across the top that and then we'll have the two uh, bricks on the end and then for this I want to put a little depth in here somehow. And if I do, yeah. If I do that. And that, oops, that will be there. This tree is going to be in the way. Do some pruning.
No, that's not right. How come I got three? Well, that'll, well, maybe I'll try that. I'll try the three. Is it two on the bottom? Two on the bottom and then three on the... T okay. I'm just trying to get a little variety here. Because after a while, these all start to look a bit the same. I mean, it's good to have the same consistent style, especially if you're like in the village. I mean, it looks a lot better to be, you know, consistent than a bit chaotic with the different mix of architectures and stuff. But when you're building it, it's like, eh, same old, same old. Oh, that's sometimes why. Sometimes I like just kind of winging it, and then you get the uh, accidental uh, usefulness. Out of, ah, we're not so much usefulness, but accidental design. Doesn't get a lot of, you know, it doesn't take a lot of uh, pre planning, which is good, because I don't like to do a lot of pre planning. I do a little bit of planning, and then usually wander away from my uh, plan. Do that. Ah, it's night time. Okay, I'll finish the roof up and then uh, we'll start work on the inside. Well, first thing I need to do is grab all these. And I don't have a silk touch axe, so I'm going to have to use my pick. But then I can turn this into just a plain old uh, bedroom instead of a multi purpose room. Boy, it takes longer. I thought. I thought it was going to be quicker. Okay, those are picked up. That, oh, well, that was quick. Take the anvil. Um, yeah, might as well take all the rest of this. I was enchanting with it anyhow. And we'll move them next door. I do have a few extra, and I can make some extra books. That's going to be the good thing. So the enchanting table is going to go there. And then the books are going to go around it. Like that. There we go. Can I get up to... F I can get to 30. Good. Okay. Thirty. I need a... Put a chest there and a chest there. I can put lapis and stuff over there. And put all my miscellaneous junk. That I don't know why I had of it. But is that my oh infinity power flame, infinity and breaking flame power? So just some extras. Um, and then the extra bookcases. I figure we can do something like this. It's a uh, Okay, let's make uh, some books. And then make 
make some more bookcases. Let's see the anvil. Where can we put the anvil? We'll put it over there. Not quite symmetrical, but I think it'll work. So I can go around here. I could put more bookcases over here, or even put the anvil over here if I wanted to. I think I'm just going to leave that open like that. I don't want to block the windows. So I think that should be okay. Maybe I'll put a couple more bookcases like that. Very nice. So we'll put the bookcases and stuff in here. I don't need a crafting table. I took it took the crafting table, but I don't need it. And uh, just have to go ahead and clean this up. So there we have it, my new enchanting room, slash library, I guess. So that's not too bad. So I think that ends this episode. Uh, it's only half moon, not too bad. So I want to thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you come back, catch me in the next one. Have a uh, wonderful afternoon, and bye-bye.